Hey there, my name is Suman and you are watching Purple Pie Studios. So this is the lesson 2 of the Corporate Explainer Animation course and in this lesson, we will learn how to design animation friendly characters so that later on you can rig and animate it in After Effects. And the best part about it is, you don't need to have a graphics tablet to follow along with this lesson. And in the last lesson, we have learned 5 stages of how to come up with an idea for your animation project. So if you haven't checked it out yet, you can check it out from the link provided in the description. And before moving forward, do hit the like button and comment down below because this kind of videos requires a lot of time and effort and your likes and comments really motivates me to make more free courses and tutorials like this. So without any further delay, let's dive right into the designing process. So before designing the character, there are a few things that you need to consider. Number one is your character's range of motion. What actions you want to animate with your character? Do you want to animate the whole body or just the top half of the character? Number two, the limb joint. Do you want a rigid elbow or a rubber hose style elbow? Number three is design style. Do you want to have designs with the outline or without outline? If you want to have a design with the outline, then you need to make some tweaks in the designing process uh, to make it more rigging friendly. So knowing these factors will help you in planning out your character's designing process and how much effort you need to put into your character design. In my case, I want a character uh, in angled side view and I should be able to animate the top half of the character with some hand and body movement. So now that I have that details, let's jump into Adobe Illustrator. My first goal is to get the character's proportion correct. In this stage, I'm not going to think about the color combination. I'm just going to use the basic shapes with white fill and black strokes. Let's start with designing the head with the rectangle shape. So let's round up this corner and also this one as well. Now let's create another rectangle for the hair. So for the hair, I would like to distort the shape a little bit by selecting the anchor point with the direct selection tool and round up the corners. Now let's add a circle for the ear. Now let's add another rectangle shape for the neck and let's distort the shape a little bit by selecting the anchor points with the direct selection tool. Now let's design the body of the character. So for that again I'm going to use the rectangle shape and again let's distort the shape in shape of a V. And since uh, we are just animating the top half of the character, so we don't really need to design much of the lower half. I'm just going to add a simple rectangle shape over here. Now let's uh, add few more detailing over here for the neck, like uh, adding a collar. For that, I'm going to use the pen tool. Okay, now let's design the hands. So for that, first let's pick the pen tool and let's draw a shape path and then cancel the fill and Let's increase, increase the stroke width with rounded corner and rounded cap. And now let's readjust the arm layer a bit so that it properly fits with the body. And one more thing, wherever we have the joint, uh, we have to make sure the overlaps are completely round. So here we have total three joints, one with the body and the shoulder, one with the arm and the forearm, and then one with the forearm and the hand. So we have to design the hand in such a way that the overlap should be completely rounded. Okay, now let's do one more thing. Let's move this uh, arm shape to another layer. So Ctrl X to cut and let's paste it on a separate layer. Now we will duplicate this layer one more time. One for the arm and one for forearm. So for the forearm, I'm just going to delete the arm portion. And for the arm, I'm going to just delete the forearm portion. Now we have a separate layer for arm and forearm. And one more thing, I want to vary the thickness from arm to forearm and to the hand. So I don't want the stroke width to be uniform throughout. So for that, let's select the arm layer and then select the width tool. And let's increase the thickness from here. Now select the forearm and let's decrease the thickness from the wrist. Okay, now we have to convert these strokes into a shape layer like this so that we have outlined shape paths. So for that, uh, let's select this two shape layer, go to object, then path and then outline stroke. And now let's pick color from the other shapes. 
also let's add a slave shape over here so for that we can use just a rectangle shape and then just use the shape builder tool to remove the extra portion of the shape and let's group the arm and the slaves together and now let's uh, design the other hand so we have we don't have to redesign the other hand we can simply duplicate this one more time and just uh, change the position so first we can flip it and then we can change the position of the arm and the forearm to give a different pose for the hand and let's place it behind the body layer okay now that we have got the basic uh, proportion and the basic structure of the character now let's move on to the color selection process so this is the color palette we will be using for our illustration and if you are struggling to get the perfect color palette for your illustration then i would highly recommend you to go through adobe color and pinterest you can get a lot of different variety of color palettes over there for your illustrations okay now let's move on to the design process so let's select the face layer and let's pick the skin tone and for the hair let's pick this dark color for the body i mean for the shard let's pick the yellow color and we also have a darker tone for the skin here in the color palette okay after picking the basic color palette now let's start adding more detailing to our design now let's uh, select the color over here so here it's completely blending with the body so let's do one more thing so let's add a vector point over here and let's select this too and delete now we will convert it into a stroke and cancel the fill and let's add a darker shade of the color i am also increasing the stroke width and changing the stroke profile okay now let's add more detailing to the face by adding more facial elements so let's start with adding a beard and now let's add a shadow layer for the face so let's get inside the isolation mode of the face and let's pick the pen tool again and let's draw a shadow shape so here we are also going to uh, design the nose here for the shadow so now let's pick a darker shade of this color and let's use the shape builder tool and cancel the extra shape also we need the shadow to be on here in the beard layer so for that what we can do is simply copy it one more time and duplicate go to the isolation mode and paste it over here pick the beard color and let's add a darker shade that's it and we are just going to delete the extra portion of the shape with the shape builder tool and now we can add eyes mouth and also add some specs so now we can add even more detailing to the body such as we can add a tie and add few more uh, detailing to the illustration by adding some shades so right now i'm just uh, speeding up the whole uh, designing process because uh, watching me design each and every element would be just too boring to watch uh, i'm just uh, using the exact same technique that i've shown you while designing the character and then i moved on with illustrating other characters uh, elements and even other frames of this explainer video and this is how the final frames of this explainer video looks like so now that we have all the design frames for our explainer video the next step is preparing our illustration files for animation in after effects so that is exactly what we will cover in the next lesson so in lesson 3 we will learn how to prepare your illustrations for animation in after effects so that is it for this video and i will see you in the next one until then goodbye